The man arrested for the 1971 murder of a Bedford housewife faced a judge for the first time today. Arthur Massey is accused of killing Natalie Shublin in her home. Tonight, the victim's friend tells WBZ's Beth Germano this crime still haunts her. For a long time, people were afraid to walk down the street or walk by her house. Bobby Ennis recalling the alarm of a killer on the loose in the town of Bedford when her friend Natalie Shublin was brutally murdered. I've been guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Now a suspect has been identified some 50 years later, 76-year-old career criminal Arthur Massey. The town was just wild about it. I mean, we had no idea. No, no, uh, we couldn't believe it. Shublin, the 54-year-old mother of two, was found in the basement of her Bedford home on June 10, 1971, by her husband, a prominent banker at the time. She had been bound at the ankles. She was face down. She had been stabbed in both the left and right side of her chest, and the back of her head had suffered a terrible blow with a blunt instrument. The case went unsolved for nearly 30 years, when a fingerprint found on the victim's stolen car was matched to Massey by a federal database with advances in computer technology. Massey had said he was solicited by organized crime to carry out the murder, but turned down the job and then blamed it on his cousin. But investigators found a woman who claimed to be a partner in crime. Identified a witness with whom Mr. Massey had committed financial crimes in the past, to whom he had admitted that he had killed another person with a knife. For Bobby Ennis, Natalie Shublin was a friend in town she'd often meet for coffee and just talk, then remembering the long lasting fear. I was afraid. I didn't know if whoever it was knew I was her friend. You know, that, that kind of feeling. You hope it brings her family peace? Oh, yeah. God, do I. It would bring any family peace. Massey has been in and out of prison with a long criminal history. Now investigators hope the long arm of the law has finally caught up with him in this case. In Bedford, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.